Hi everyone! Today I'm coming at you with another thrifted home decor haul video. I have a lot of amazing things to show you today. I have pottery, I have brass, I have teak, I have furniture, I have textiles, I even have jewelry. So many amazing things you are not going to want to miss. So make sure you watch all the way until the end. So if you've been here before, you know, first I take you shopping with me and then I bring everything home and let you know what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna sell in my Etsy shop. And this time I actually have a little bit of footage from my trip to Tacoma recently. Yes, I went on a little mini, and I say mini because it was 24 hours, maybe less, of time. And I went to Tacoma, Washington for the Seattle Polo Party. I absolutely love, love, love horse anything and then also dressing up and wearing big hats or fascinators so my husband and i decided to go watch polo and then we stayed overnight in tacoma and then i actually did a little bit of thrifting when i was there because i love thrifting on vacation so you're going to see a little bit of that footage too so without further ado let's get thrifting Love this piece, especially the mosaic tile in the middle, but it had a lot of deep cracks, so I had to put it back. This caught my eye, but I'm not a fan of grapes. I've been seeing cactus glassware everywhere, and I nearly got these because they have such a unique shape. The colors on this pot were absolutely stunning, but I decided not to grab it. I love stained glass, but this was definitely a pass. These bowls had such unique carvings on the side, I almost got them. I love lucite, but the metal was just too tarnished. So I was on my way back from brunch. We went to the Seattle Polo Party yesterday, which was amazing. And I was kind of having like a lazy morning because the kiddos at home, my husband and I are on our own up in Tacoma and happened to stumble on a street that's all vintage stores. So I told my husband like, slow down, stop, I'm getting out. So let's see what I can find. These canisters were amazing and had corks for lids. Unfortunately, they did not have a price on them and the people in the shop couldn't give me pricing. These next couple of booths had some amazing mid-century finds. It was glassware, art, teak, you name it, they had it. The prices were actually really good if I was shopping for myself, but for resale they were just a little too high and I did not have a really good margin, so I had to leave it all behind. So in today's haul, I actually have a few teeny tiny little things. I don't know what it was about this particular like week, week and a half of thrifting, but I kept finding miniature, miniature items. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually this tiny little Navajo piece of pottery that I got while I was in Tacoma. So this little guy was only $3, which is crazy because Navajo pottery, very collectible. Um, you've heard me talk about it before. You know, it's just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So I can't believe that it was $3. Now it does have a little bit of uh, markings on it, which I'm not exactly sure how to get off because this type of pottery is more um, matte and almost dusty feeling um, to the surface rather than something that's shiny that I think would be easily um, like buffed up with a uh, magic racer. But I'm going to try to see if I can get the marks off. But nevertheless, this is so cute and petite and mini. I had to pick it up because it was just absolutely adorable. So it's definitely um, artist sign on the bottom, although you can't, I have the sticker still on it, so you can't really see. 
and it's very faint. But yeah, definitely a piece. I saw a lot of Navajo pottery. It always flies out of my um, Etsy shop, so had to pick it up, and hopefully I can do a little rehabbing on it. But yeah, this will be available once I clean it up in my Etsy shop. So the next item, I also got in Tacoma, and this is something I never thought I would probably ever pick up because who even needs these anymore um but it is this vintage candle snuffer so i saw it, it was only a dollar i thought huh you know it's pretty cool and i have been seeing these everywhere right now so i follow a lot of people on instagram that actually sell vintage decor directly through their instagram feed and i swear every haul has one of these and there it always sells so i thought you know for a dollar i can definitely test it it's probably popular because everyone wants brass candlesticks and all of those taper candles now, which is another thing that I'm just like blown away that, that people are going bananas for. So anyways, I had to pick it up because I just thought it was so like ornate. It has a really like lovely, almost Harry Potter wand type shape to it. Um, and then also like the brass detailing is great. I'm gonna see if I can get this on the camera. It may not zoom in. Oh, it did zoom. It has like the nice like etching here ribbing and then you know the the fun like hook and brass stuff there so yeah i thought it was really kind of cool a dollar i was like sold i'll give it a go and see how it does on etsy but yeah that was kind of cool so i had to pick it up and the final item i got in tacoma was this of course carved teak trivet so anytime I see these, I pick them up because they are so, so popular and they're always undervalued at thrift stores, which I'm thankful for. So if anyone is watching who owns a thrift store, please do not start marking these up because I love paying $2 two dollars for something like this so this one does not have the bone inlay um i'll take this the price sticker thing off um usually some of these have bone inlay those are a little bit more valuable than something that's just strictly carved but still this is absolutely beautiful the coloring is amazing and of course you know this is hand um done um hand carved so i just think it's really really neat and then also i love that this particular one actually has the sticker on the back, usually, you know, something like this is long gone by the time I get it. So it's kind of nice. Um, oh, actually it says what type of wood. So I call it teak, may not be teak. It's Himalayan jungle shisham wood. Shisham wood. I'll pop it on the screen so that way, that way you guys can see too. Maybe that's another term for teak. I don't know. I will look it up and let you guys know. But yeah, saw this for $2. I was like sold. So I had to pick it up. So will be available at my Etsy shop. So you know how I said I have a lot of small things. Well, that small pot is one of them. And then this is something that was just like bought on a whim. I was at one of those weird like rummage, like church type sales, but it actually was outside someone's home. But there's just so much stuff. And I actually wish I would have gotten there early, very earlier because there would have been a lot of things. I saw a woman walking away with some pretty cool jewelry and I was like, really really mad that i hadn't gotten there earlier but i found this and i thought it was kind of neat it is this ceramic little village so it has so many little pieces and they're all you know hand painted hand done so many cute little pieces and churches and buildings i mean how cute is this and when i saw it i was just like it brought me back to vacations and traveling overseas and kind of reminded me of Santorini and in Greece and oh, it just made me really want to go on a vacation so bad. Not like a vacation to Washington, like the state up, like a real vacation on a plane to Europe. But oh well, we'll just have to wait. But yeah, found this, I thought it was so cute. I'll pop a picture on the screen of like all the different like little buildings that I have so you can see it in all its glory, but it was only $2 for this set. I have no idea if this is going to be popular or not, um, but I thought it was so cute. So I thought for two bucks, I'll pick it up and see how it does. But yeah, it's artist signed kind of on the back, which is nice, makes it a little bit more valuable. So yeah, I don't usually pick up miniatures, like true miniatures like this, but I just thought it was so cute. So I had to get it. So the next item I have to show you is this lovely basket. So I'm not finding baskets that much lately. I mean, I do find them on occasion, but 
Not to the extent that I would like to because baskets, oh, I love them. They add such a natural, beautiful texture to your decor. Very versatile, hide your stuff. And then also they're very, very light and easy to ship if you have an Etsy shop. So I'm always looking for them. Don't always find ones like this that are absolutely beautiful. I mean, the detailing on this is just crazy. And the color is absolutely amazing, especially for a vintage basket. If you watch my videos before you know that baskets especially ones that have color you know depending on where they're located in your home will fade over time usually you can tell how much fading is done by when you open it up and you can kind of see the coloring so you can see this guy used to be pretty colorful in comparison to this uh, but i love that this one actually had enough residual color to kind of make it fun and interesting and a little bit different than the baskets that you see well, another thing that's kind of tricky about buying baskets right now, it's kind of hard to decide or rather to determine if they're vintage because there's just so many woven pieces that are coming from Africa. And um, so it's really kind of hard. Is this a new piece that someone picked up from like Whole Foods or the farmer's market and just decided to give it away to Goodwill? Or is it truly like a vintage item? So sometimes it's really hard to tell, although usually um, kind of like the fading and the patina on a basket will kind of clue you in a little bit in terms of whether or not um, it's vintage and then also you know is this type of style of basket this particular like pattern and weaving is that common now or not so it's just kind of some of the things to kind of be helpful in terms of determining um, you know if, if something is vintage but um, I, you know this is such a stunning piece I cannot believe it was so cheap um, because it is so amazing. So this I'm probably going to keep because it's so colorful. It actually matches my decor. Um, and my son actually kind of likes it. Probably likes it a little too much because he always wants to like pop it open and close, open and close. It's only a matter of time before cars are in this. Um, so I will have to keep it up on a shelf. But yeah, saw this, had to pick it up. And speaking of things that are hard to determine whether or not they're vintage, are certain brass items. Now, most brass animals and things like that, they are vintage. You can tell based on like where they were made and the patina on them. But something like this, which is a brass pineapple, I cannot believe I found one of these. Um, it can be a little bit harder because they are replicating the crap out of this particular style. So the brass animals, eh, not as much, but brass pineapples have been having a moment especially with like millennials you know young millennials they were going crazy for them i swear they were in every instagram story a few years ago so i think like normal retailers were just redesigning them and selling them so it's kind of it's exciting to find one that's actually actually vintage so this has all the beautiful patina it is so heavy like crazy heavy kind of see what it looked like inside. And actually in the middle of it, some there was like candle residue. So I think someone actually used this as a candle holder too, even though I don't, I mean, I, some of these are candle holders, but I don't think this one was because the shape of the center doesn't really look like it was meant for candles. But I think someone like stuck it in there anyways. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, what are the odds that I actually find a real authentic vintage breast pineapple? Thought it was amazing. I am so sorry for anyone who's just like, I want that because this guy is gonna be mine probably forever because waiting to find it. But yeah, when I saw it, I had to pick it up because it was amazing and it was only $7.99, which is crazy, especially for something this large. Usually thrift stores mark up brass like a ton, but for whatever reason, the person who priced this that day was like, must have had a stroke and did not price it what it should have been. So I was very grateful for that. So yeah, this is staying with me forever. So moving on to a textile item. So when I see textiles reasonably priced, I tend to get them because usually they're so, so pricey, even at the thrift stores. So this one I found and it's kind of, I'm actually not exactly sure why I bought it because it's a little bit more country than my decor, but something about this little sheep, like, made me really happy. So I thought, you know, someone out there who has like a cottage farm, farmhouse style, may be interested in this, or maybe someone has like an affinity for sheep and wants it. Uh, but yeah, so it's this woven piece, has this adorable sheep on 
in the design and actually it's kind of fun because the opposite side is a different sheep color but you know you're probably going to have to keep it this side because it has this like mounting already there which is what is really great about this piece is that it's already like pre-mounted ready to go um it's definitely vintage oh almost dropped it <laughs> definitely vintage because you can tell you know on the fading of this particular um piece here and then of course the brass teeth you know they're usually not brass anymore they are definitely um like stainless or silver um and yeah i thought it was kind of crazy because even this little like teeth thing has a little bit of like ornate detail on it which i thought was kind of fun so yeah this is a really great condition um it has a tiny little chip on the top of that wood but who's gonna see it when it's hung up on the wall but yeah i'll lean back a little bit but yeah i thought it was so so cute and i paid a little up for this paid 21 dollars for it but i don't know it just spoke to me <laughs> You'll have to let me know if, if you think this is like a crazy purchase or not in the comments. But yeah, I thought it was just really, really cool. So I had to pick it up and this will definitely be available in my Etsy shop. So moving on to a few more pottery pieces. So the first one is this one. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, I cannot believe the detailing on this. Of course, like, you know, the, the etched in part on here adds a really interesting texture to the finish. But the fact that it has this like basket type top on it, it's just amazing. I have never seen kind of like a mixed media piece of pottery quite like this. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, absolutely bringing that home. Um, artist sign on the bottom. So yeah, I thought it was an amazing, amazing piece. The funny thing is, I actually posted this on Instagram recently and someone messaged me and saying, I have to have that piece of pottery can I buy it from you? And I said, yes. So um, it's really nice when that happens. So anyways, if you ever see anything on Instagram that you want um, that I haven't listed in my Etsy shop yet, you know, you can always DM me, email me, message me here on YouTube, whatever you want. And I can always reserve it for you um, and then ship it out. So just like an FYI to those of you watching, is there something on here that you really, really like? Uh, but I haven't listed it yet. Just let me know and I can definitely make it available to you. So yeah, when I saw this mixed media pottery, I was like mind blown. I'm going to have to be on the lookout for ones like this from now on. So the next piece of pottery I want to show you, actually my mom picked up. And if you watch my videos, you know, my mom actually finds me some cool stuff quite a bit. So I'm really lucky. So it is this vintage, extremely colorful Italian vase. So when she sent me a picture of this, she's like, what do you think is kind of quite the statement? And I'm just like, yes, it is. But you know what? It is absolutely beautiful. And it's so like sunshiny and fun to look at that I know someone out there is going to want it. Plus, it's vintage Italian pottery. People love that stuff. Why? Because people love Italy. I love Italy. You know I love Italy. If you watch my videos, you know I love Italy. So um, yeah, so when she sent this over to me, and especially since it has like the sticker on the bottom saying that it was made in Italy, um, and then just all the detailing is just amazing. It has all these etchings in it and all the fun glaze. It just is to me a very cool, stunning piece. So is it a statement? Oh yeah, but I think it's truly special. So I um, had to have her get it for me because I know someone out there will definitely want this. So it's going to be available in my Etsy shop. So the next item is actually a furniture item. So I teased in my last video that I had picked up a few different pieces of furniture recently, and I definitely did not show you all of them in the last video. I wanted to kind of tease them out a little bit. So this particular piece, I absolutely am crazy for. <sighs> I really want to keep it, but I'm not sure where I would put it. But it is this, and it's kind of weird to show you, of course, again, being on camera. And so I will pop like a picture on the screen of like how it looks, you know, semi-styled. But it is this amazing stand. So yeah, this is like, I can't seem to get far enough back. Anyways, it's this very cool mid-century stand with the three shelves. I love this bent wood like detailing and then you can kind of see on the screen that it has several different tones of wood um, fused together. So just very cool, very interesting. Um, just, I thought it was just a stunning statement piece. I love that it was super tall and narrow because I feel like 
when you have these types of pieces are like just like a one-off statement item and so often things are like the same height same styling um but i thought this was like fairly sculptural and and unique so i had to pick it up um the the booth that i bought it from i had it listed for 39 dollars, and i was like that seems crazy good so definitely paid up for it usually for furniture items especially once it's special you'd usually pay up for it um, but there's definitely a lot of margin in it because pieces like this are just so unique you can't find them anywhere um, so people you know definitely know they're valuable and they get just as excited to find something special for their home so this will be available on my Etsy shop but yeah when I saw it I was like oh yeah you're coming home with me um, and oh, gosh I wish I could wish I could save it for myself um, but yeah I already have so many occasional <laughs> occasional pieces because I just you know these types of things are just so fun and unique so anyways this will be available in my Etsy shop so the last four items I'm really excited to show you and why because I'm hosting a giveaway now before you get too excited I'm not hosting it just yet I actually need to make a milestone in my Etsy shop and that is 100 sales so I'm at 98 sales right now at the time of filming this video i just need two more and i will hit 100 which is amazing to me i started my etsy shop a while ago and i was just selling one or two items a year it was more like a hobby to me i didn't really pay much attention to it but then i thought you know what i'm starting a youtube channel I'm doing more thrifting, so I definitely need to do more selling. Um, and so I have been a lot more diligent, and so more and more sales have been coming in. I've been selling more than I ever have before, several sales a month. And so I'm almost to the 100 mark, which is incredible because I just really started taking my Etsy shop, frankly, seriously. So, really, really big milestone coming up for me. Very excited. And because that milestone is achieved because of people like you guys who are watching me, who are buying from my shop. I know one particular viewer, Margo, thank you. She has purchased from me a few times um, because of my YouTube channel. So thank you so much, Margo. Thank you. I bet you didn't expect the shout out. So hopefully you're watching. Uh, but anyways, I have picked up a few items that are gonna be in the giveaway. Um, the first is this adorable handmade vase i mean i know you guys like pottery so of course i'm doing a giveaway it's gonna have pottery in it it is artist signed on the bottom really really textural a lovely deep shade of blue but also has this very 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 cool like tonal detailing in it and then of course like the very narrow neck so if you you know, not particularly talented at flower arranging like me and you just want something that allows you to put just a couple little stems in and then boom you're done this is for you so this is going to be in the giveaway this brass planter is going to be in the giveaway and let me tell you this is really hard to let go because um you know brass planters are really popular very in um so yeah when i saw this i was like should i sell that in my etsy shop i'm like no you're going to give it away in a giveaway. So this will be in the giveaway too. And then kind of going with like the blue theme. I also picked up this beautiful mug. I thought the detailing on it was just incredible. Um, it has the fun like glaze on the handle and the scene. It's just, it's very, it's like the blues and like deep, deep like reds and terracottas and yellows. So I thought this was like just a really lovely, beautiful mug. Surprisingly, my husband really liked it. He's like, you're gonna give that away? But I like it. I'm like, so what? This is going to my YouTube fans, my Instagram fans, the people that are supporting me and my business and my channel. So um, this will be also in the giveaway. And then one of the final things is this lovely pair of brass seashell earrings. Now these were also hard for me to give away um, because I love jewelry. So, um, so anyways, but you know, I thought these are very on trend. Someone who's gonna get them is going to love them as much as I do. So yeah, these four things, one, two, three, four cool vintage items are gonna be in my upcoming getaway, giveaway. And then I'll probably find a few more things to throw in too, because frankly, I love finding cool stuff for people. Um, so I just, I can't help myself. So there'll probably be a few more pieces. Um, I'll probably have a few surprises. So that way, whoever wins this giveaway won't know everything that will be shipped to them. But anyways, yeah, that's coming up. I'm very close to 
the milestone that I have coming. So keep an eye out. I'll definitely make an announcement again when the giveaway is going to launch, but can't wait to send these to someone very special to me um, soon. So stay tuned, keep you posted on when that's going to go live. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe and like button. It really helps grow my channel. I would love to make these videos for you full time. So all your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, everything really goes a long way to making that dream possible. Thanks again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.